All right, so we're going to do problem two out of chapter two of Rosen Lynch's Introduction to Analysis. So we want to prove in detail that if we have real numbers A, B, C, and D, uh, first negative A minus B is B minus A. Second, A minus B times C minus D is A C plus B D minus A D plus B C. Uh, so first, uh, we we might want to prove, say, uh, a lemma that. Uh, like negatives are unique that is like the equation uh, the equation uh, a minus a plus x equals zero has a unique solution uh, x is negative a and so the, the way we is, do this is assume that we have two solutions. So if we have two solutions, if we have two solutions, say x and y, then we know that uh, a plus x, uh, well, what is a plus x plus y? Well, using the fact that a plus x is 0, we have that this is 0 plus y, and then since 0 is the additive identity, we have that this is y. But then we could also use the commutative property of addition, and we can say that this is a plus y plus x. Then no knowing that y is a solution, we have that a plus y is 0, so this is 0 plus x. And using 0 as the additive identity, we have this is 0, and we know these are equal, so we have that x is equal to y. So we have that uh, a unique solution to the equation a plus x is equal to zero, and that solution is negative a. So if we want to prove a, uh, what we could just do is we can consider consider the equation uh, a minus b plus x equals zero, right? And, and, and we just observe, uh, note that uh, negative a minus b is a solution. But also, I claim that b minus a is a solution. Also, b minus a is a solution. Uh, and this is because a minus b plus b minus a, well, this is equal to, uh, I mean, you can write minus b as like plus minus b, but this is just equal using commut commutativity, a minus b plus b minus b, which is 0 plus 0, which is 0. So both of these are solutions to this equation. Therefore, they have to be the same. All right, uh, so, so that's how you can prove part A. To prove part B, you can uh, let, let, let's prove a similar thing that, uh, let, let's show that uh, maybe our lemma could be something like uh, negative negative a is equal to a. And to, to, to see this, we can just observe that we, we, we can use our first lemma here that um, both of these are solutions to the equation um, negative a plus x equals 0. Because negative negative a, that, that, that's a solution to this just by the definition of what negative means. And a is also a solution to this because negative a plus a, you switch that around. And using the fact that negative a is the inverse of a, we get what we're looking for. Uh, so, so, so that's one lemma. And then we can just use this to prove b in the following way. So we can prove b as follows. So we can say, well, what is a minus b times uh, c minus d? So y using the lemma, I could just write this as a minus b times, say, c plus minus d. Using the distributive property, we have that this will equal to a minus b times c plus a minus b times minus d. Okay, so we can just continue. Now, now we can use the distributive property again. So this has to be a times c minus b times c plus um, a times negative d uh, pl plus uh, negative b times negative d. And 
another lemma we might point out is uh, that might be useful here is like negative one times a is just equal to uh, negative a and the way you could go ahead and prove this is by saying uh, that both of these are solutions to the equation a plus x equals zero and note that if we have a uh, plus negative one times a we'll, we'll, we'll think of this as uh, one times a plus negative one times a and then you can factor out the a and this is uh, one plus negative one times a and this is zero times a and that's zero so that's how you can show that negative one times something is uh, negative that thing. So th this whole thing will just become, well, we have AC plus BD, because those two negatives become positive. And then these two things will just be, uh, we, we can pull out that negative, And we're going to get an AD and a plus BC. And that's what we wanted to show. All right, thanks for watching.